if you ask the average kid what they want to be when they grow up, they'll probably tell you they want to be a rapper, a singer, a creative. But why is it that with such a high saturation of this dream, much of the results we see fall flat? And I'm an island boy. I'ma keep it like an island boy. I'ma keep it like an island boy. I'ma keep it like it's wild one. Not to sound like an old head, but what do Tupac, Nicki Minaj, John Lennon, Mob Deep, and Kanye West all have in common? They all surprisingly attended some type of art education. Whether you hate them or love them, their impact in today's culture is undeniable, and a lot of it can be attributed to the education they received at these institutions. In this persuasive essay, I will convince Gen Zers to push for funding towards art and music education in schools again. Why again? Well, you see, there was once a time where art and music education was actually prioritized in the U.S., and many children in schools were taught it with the same rigor as other subjects. Here's an excerpt from the Black Music Archive going into detail with this history. There was a time when art was deeply integrated in American culture and everyday life. In 1935, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt enacted the Works in Progress Act and in turn created the Federal Music Act. What this act did was put many artists to work to help rebuild the economy after the Great Depression. So in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, you could go to the community center in your neighborhood and see an opera put on for free, or a symphony, or an art installation. And even better, under the Works in Progress Act, music education was made free and accessible to the public. So just imagine going into your local community center and getting a free voice or piano lesson from a professional. Again? And because of the Federal Music Act, music also became a part of the public school learning curriculum. So students in public school systems were learning how to sing, read, write, and compose music from a trained music professional. You might argue that in today's abundance of tools and information, learning these skills is as easy as it's ever been. That might be the case. However, an important aspect of learning is missing. Guidance. Without proper guidance, these innovative tools will just result in underdeveloped potential. Again, nowadays, everybody wants to be the next best rapper, singer, creator, and we definitely have the tools to do so. What we desperately need is the care and direction to cultivate these skills at an early age. And with that, I'm confident we'll see a golden age of creation.